The National Museum of the American Indian is part of the Smithsonian. Recently, we opened an exhibition here on the mall, uh, the Great Inca Road, Engineering an Empire. And it profiles this incredible achievement of the Inca people. When visitors come to museums, of course we know they want to see the great stuff. But visitors like to explore things in different ways. One of the things that we're looking at is a way for people to understand the system of chasquis. These are runners who use the road to deliver messages around the empire. And we immediately thought, this could be a really cool game. This could be an activity that people people could do. We have varied audiences. Some people come to a museum just to see the objects and then there are interactives and specifically the games which is a great way to educate people and get our messages across because there's a certain type of audience that really responds well to games and to interactives. So producing a game for a cultural institution like the National Museum of the American Indian has some unique challenges. Uh, we want to be culturally specific, but we want to be fun. We want to teach people, but we want it to be engaging. So I think that we found great success in this particular project because we were able to find the right kind of compromises to bring this alive. The Inca Road covered a vast amount of area across the Inca Empire. There were long territories that were crossed. They did it in a very quick period of time. This was a sophisticated society that was sending very sophisticated messages and varied goods over these long roads. We use the actual geography of the road, uh, but we also have to deal with scale. So you see these runners on the road. So it's not obviously an actual piece of history, but it brings history alive for visitors. And in that way, I think it's been uniquely successful. It's really important for ESA Foundation to continue to fund cultural institutions in their use and in their experimentation of implementing games as part of a way to bring alive the main messages that we want to achieve. I think that more and more we have to find new ways to engage audiences here at museums and at cultural institutions and games are a terrific way of doing that.